trying to make sure this here. You know, sometimes with the Afro wig, the messier it looks, the better it looks. But, you know, just don't want it to look too messy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, hello, folks. Welcome to Fashion on Friday. I'm Danielle. I realize that in most of my videos, I don't introduce myself. How rude of me, but I'm Danielle. Um, this week's Fashion on Friday, I'm taking you to Ikea because that is my form of socialization and recreation <laughs> in these trying times. No, I wanted to check out some new stuff that's I at Ikea. I'm thinking about getting the um, tiled, uh, what do you call it? You know, like the outdoor tiling for outdoor floors. Um, they have some that look like wooden. It's not real wood, or is it? I don't know. But I want the grass one um, because, you know, we are in these trying times, I need to make my space look as tropical as possible. So I'm going there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm ending the vlog just at Ikea because tomorrow I'm taking photos again with Rose, who is Dadu Chic. Make sure you follow her. Um, because I do need to return the H&M dresses from last week's Fashion on Friday. The green dress, the dress with like the, you know, I seem to love like palm prints. I think it was either palm print or banana leaf print. Beautiful dress. I got a large. I want a medium because flowy dresses on my body type um, can tend to make, you know, can look a little tent like, you know, I'm not, that's not the look I'm going for. So I want to kind of size down on that one. Hopefully I can find it. And then the other dress, which was also a large, fit everywhere but in the arms. Because I was just like, yo, what kind of tight up arm ting is this, right? So. I don't know if we're gonna continue on because I'm not quite sure if I, I, I don't know, we'll see. You, we, it'll be a surprise to both of us, but um, let me show you my outfit. It's a little messy in my bedroom here because I finally started to like sort through the closet that's in my office to kind of like go through, um, you know, I finally put away my fall winter stuff because you know, it's like, where was I going anyway? And then it was cold here in New York for so long. Um, <laughs> but it's a little messy in here, but I will show you today's outfit in a minute. These earrings, they're from a black woman owned business. I cannot remember off the top of my head right now, but it will be in linked in the description box. So make sure you check out the description box. I actually featured these in a, um, another shopping vlog that I did at Renee from In Her Shoes. Renee Blewett, she has a black woman business holiday bazaar that she does in December and I've gone for many many years but these were featured there I just cannot remember the name of the um you know the brand that makes them but check out the description box and let's look at this outfit all right so again well I could at least move the damn tripod right so excuse the mess of clothes back there that's being fixed but this is just an old dress from Zara I think I'd probably want to loosen this a little bit so it lays a little bit nicer i don't know it's just a throw a quick throw on dress it's old as heck from zara i got it maybe like two years ago from the zara sale which means it was probably from a season or two prior to that these are not the shoes that i'm wearing again these are my house shoes i like to wear crocs as house shoes because they are durable you can wash them and they last a really long time i've had these for a year and they're much better to me than regular house shoes or house slippers because you know house slippers just get a little funky after a month you know just to keep it a hundred and i'm probably going to wear i have some cute brown h&m shoes that have a very little heel that might be nice to walk in but i'm wondering if it might be too much to be walking around in ikea in I need to put on a lip, but I will probably just put on whatever gloss is in my purse. <laughs> I'm kind of liking this glow. I used a little bit of skin glass. Um, mix in with my foundation. We'll see how it holds up. All right, so I have on my Fendi sunglasses that I got last year from the Fendi outlet. There's actually a vlog when I went with Miss Nerdy Chica and Daddy Chic, so check that out. Um, the whole wearing masks and makeup thing, there's a blog post which I will link in the description box because it breaks down like all the things that you gotta do and whatnot, so check that out. 
Um, I'm only wearing makeup because I'm filming. It's like such a ritual for me to, you know, get up, get dressed, put my makeup on and film unless I'm doing like skincare stuff. Then, you know, obviously who needs makeup to do a skincare demo because that also defeats the purpose, you know? But um, yeah, check out my blog post because I've been getting lots of questions on what to do with makeup and masks and also, you know, the acne aka mask knee that people are getting from wearing these masks so check it out this is gonna be really random but who remembers ranch one now i don't know how regional this was but i know that there were ranch ones in queens manhattan long island um but it was basically this chain i can't even call it fast food um that's a bag of clothes in the back there that i'm gonna <laughs> send to a friend for for donation but um yeah so ranch one i can't even call it fast food but it was this place where you can go and get the most delicious thin um grilled chicken breast very delicious very juicy you know juicy chicken um and they had the most delicious steamed vegetables like i would go in there and get grilled chicken with the steamed um carrots um, I think they had like steam vegetable, steam mixed vegetables or whatever, but it was so good. And I'm so sad that they don't like, I need to Google what happened to them. Cause like, I don't see them anymore. And they were just like, if you were trying to, you know, watch your carbs and all this other stuff and, you know, eat healthy on the go, you know, ranch one, oh, am I going in the wrong direction? I think I am. Ranch one was the place to go. So the line moves, it's not too bad. I've been online maybe, what, five minutes? Cute, this is my kind of, hmm, are these all fake? Yes, I mean, I don't know if this is fake plants. <laughs> Can I just say how great it was walking into the showroom at Ikea after being in quarantine for so long? Like, th this could not have been a better trip for this day. My only thing is when I walked in, I feel like the people should have been doing like cartwheels and, you know, doing fire, no, no, no more fireworks. I'm sick of the fireworks, but something similar to fireworks, but not as loud and, just like, I don't know, getting on a bullhorn and being like, welcome to Ikea. I don't know, maybe they Millie Rock or something. I don't know, but this whole thing was a Pinterest board come to life. So wait till you see how cute everything is that I saw. I absolutely love this table. It's too long for anywhere that I would imagine it to be in the apartment but I just love the style. I would have to say that my home decor style is a little bit of like Scandinavian. Like I like the whole Scandinavian minimalist thing, um, but not too minimal, you know what I'm saying? I love the like boho-ness <laughs> of, you know, having rattan. You'll see here that I'm obsessed with rattan. And I also like splashes of color though, which is not Scandinavian. Scandinavian design has like, what, three colors? I do like some splashes of color, but I would have to say that maybe if there was such a thing as like modern boho, like maybe that would be my style. This kitchen, I, like I love, I love like so much white <laughs> in the kitchen because I feel like it just really does so much for bringing in light, which is why my bedroom, and I did a bedroom tour, um, you know previously on here on youtube you can check it out i'm probably going to do an updated one because i've got some new things in there well not a lot but you know a couple new things but anyway i want to redo my kitchen i have no idea what i want to do and ikea was giving me some ideas now obviously this is not a kitchen this is a living room area but we're gonna go and walk and see some kitchens but we're gonna look at some more living room spaces first <laughs> so i think the way they have this space styled 
this is a living room setup. I think the way that they have this place styled is like kind of indicative of the, the look that I like, where it's kind of like it's boho, it's got some, you know, modern colors, but then it also kind of with the wallpaper, which I love this wallpaper, by the way, it kind of gives like a nod to like 1950s, but you know, like if 1950s was in the field of Jim Crow and segregation and, and lynchings. Um, but yes, I love the bright colors like this chair and ottoman combo. You see the rattan. I'm obsessed with rattan. I love wooden um, accents and, and features in home decor. Like honestly, this wallpaper is so bomb. Look at that. I love that color. I need that in like a head wrap as well. So there's that. And I like how they have the carpets, the rugs layered. That's a look that I'm going to try and not those exact rugs because those aren't really my style, but you know, something similar. But yeah, let's get into more of these beautiful showroom setups. And everybody was just out and just feeling good being up in Ikea. I think they felt it too, you know? This room is cute, but you know, not my not my forte. This though, this is right up my alley. Um, I don't love the table, but the color scheme in there is what really catches my eye. Like I like neutrals, but I also like bold colors. Listen, this rocking chair. <laughs> if I, listen, if I could find a use for it in the apartment, I you know I would get it. Same thing with this chair, but I already have a black rattan chair in my bedroom that I got from Target a couple of years ago, so I don't need any more. Especially not at, you know, I think the $600 price was for, um, you know, the set of two, but I don't need that. <laughs> I want it. It looks pretty, but I don't need it. This is pretty too. Um, these light fixtures. Girl. Boy. These light fixtures. So pretty. Um... Yeah, and I kind of closed, you know, closed in on the names of them. So if like you're looking for, yay, hey, where's that from? You know, just pause the video and then you can go on the IKEA site and look it up. So this is not my style, but I still love it. I just, I prefer brighter, you know, lighter colors. But this was ooh, whoever styled this, bravo. So these are the tiles that I was talking about at the beginning of the video, but I want them in the grass color. Um, they did not have them in stock. And so I think I'm going to just wind up going and getting like some AstroTurf cut from Lowe's for my little outdoor area. Because, you know, I got to make things look as much as vacation as possible. This bathroom. Oh, these sinks. Oh, I wish there was a way. I'm sure there's a way I could probably build something like... Um, underneath the sink. Well, no, I can't because I've got the litter box in there. See, you know, I love my cat, but he's messing up my decor <laughs> things. Um, but yeah, super cute stuff in here. Like, this is another cute room that I love the way that they styled it. It's not my style because, you know, like I said, I like brighter um, colors and lighter neutrals, but this is cozy. This makes me think of like brandy and you just putting on a robe. This kitchen was super cute. Not my favorite because, you know, like I said, I keep saying I like lighter, brighter colors. But still, I love the way that they styled it. And I love the way that they have, like, you know, different decor themes to get everybody in. Because, you know, they're trying to get everybody's money in Ikea. <laughs> So I want to redo my kitchen. I'm not quite sure what kind of look I want. I love this look where it's like the modern accessories, lots of white, you know, everywhere because white picks up light really well. Um, I just can't decide because I also love the idea of like a country kind of looking, like, you know, you look in town and country and like just big farmhouse sink and just really cool. I don't know. This one's nice too. I love the look. And I like that this has a lot of white, but it also plays with texture. So you have like the subway tile um, backsplash in the, in the back there. Um, and then it's like a mix of like the counters are shiny, but then you have the matte um, cabinets. I thought that was pretty cool. But I don't know what I want. I need to continue to look on Pinterest. And I just 
thought this little setup was kind of cool, you know, like a workstation kind of thing. I wanted to do something like this for my office with like the, um, what do you call these? The push boards, backboards, I forget what they're called. Um, something here will probably say what it's called. But I kind of like that because I was like, you know, if I want to put like inspiration, like have a mood board up or whatever for when I'm creating content, I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, but the walls in the apartment make it really hard to, you know, nail things to the wall. So that idea got a pegboard. There we go. That idea got scratched. This bathroom. OMG. I recently got the um, tiles redone on the floor in my bathroom. But I think I want to change it. And I want a vintage tub. But I can't, you know, obviously can't put a vintage tub in here. But, you know, one day if I decide to buy a house, this is like this bathroom, like copy and paste, put it in my future home. And that's it. Another really pretty space. I was actually looking to see if they had the Pax Closet thing because I was going to try to take a look at it. But I, either I didn't see it or it got sidetracked or something. I don't know. And here I am looking at another Rattan <laughs> rocking chair. Like, uh, color. I got so drawn to this. Like, I love mixing prints in my wardrobe. And I want to do not a big element of it in the house, but like something. So I'll probably play up with some bedding. Stay tuned. This isn't my style. This seems so romantic and moody and pretty and nice, but you know, it's not my style, but I was still drawn to it. And I'm like, yo, whoever styled this, the team that styled this, kudos, y y you did good. Y you did good. And I love that like pretty much everything in here, um, you can get right here at Ikea. Um, this lamp is gorgeous I would want one like it however where would I put it I don't know see this is why you gotta have a plan before you just go start buying stuff willy-nilly because then you wind up with stuff that doesn't really go together so I'm gonna be patient and you know take a chill pill so now I'm walking into the marketplace to pick up a couple things that I saw I was hoping to find the um, you know, the AstroTurf looking tiles, those tiles are like snap in, but they didn't have them in stock. And then just, you know, showing you guys some really cute little things that like, these are dish towels that you can add in, you know, your, your space to kind of add some pops of color. Like if you're looking to like re but you don't want to spend a lot, like these are things that you can do super easy. Um, looking at trays. Um, I'm, as a content creator, I'm always looking for things that like can make a, a picture look even cooler. So, you know, I always kind of look at trays and things like that for content. Um, these are really cute for the dining, like the dining mats. But I was kind of looking at them as, hmm, what product can I shoot <laughs> on it to make it look really like cool for like Instagram? So IKEA is not only a place to look for the helm, it's also great for content creators, you know? I think they do like little accessories really well. This is a napkin holder. Super cute. You know, not anything that I would pick up because, you know, don't need it. But maybe one day I might. You know, maybe I'm one day I'll think about it. These were super cute. 59 cents. Um, I think that was like the special price for whatever their sale period is. But, um, yeah, really cute. Like I've seen this in like maybe on Pinterest or something like that. Not my style, but this is a super cool picture. I love the color. Like little things you can just add in the home and you know over here looking at duvet covers just because i'm like you know that's a really quick thing that i can you know stick my comforter inside and make my bedding look more colorful without having a whole bunch of taking up a bunch of space these light fixtures man oh love them i was looking at this pillow but i was like oh i wish it was in plastic because i like, can't right now I feel like they have upped their fake plant game. Are these real? No, those are real. <laughs> so the a thing that I've noticed over the years with IKEA's artificial plants is that some of them look really, really good, and then some of them look really, really, really bad. <laughs> I would have to say the ones that I saw were, you know, closer to the really good side. I do think that you would need to, like, get, uh, you know, cuter pots to really, like, you know, really make it look authentic. Well, as authentic as possible. Um, 
But these were really cute. I have so many artificial plants in the house already from Target, but I think, you know, if I want to redo something, I may come back and get a few at Ikea and find a cute pot to put them in. Oof, again with these beautiful light fixtures. By the way, as I am talking here, leave me a comment. Let me know what is your home decor style? Like how would you describe the style that you're most drawn to when it comes to decor? Lying in here though? Jesus Christ. The snakes all the way around. <laughs> M G, I'm exhausted. <sighs> Yo, literally, I could go to sleep right, right here, right now. But I need to drive home. Well, I need to drive to my friend's house, and then I need to drive home. That was exhausting. Um, the line wasn't too bad. I, I, if I had to estimate, I was on line maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, wasn't too bad. It was a nice trip. I think though, because I'm so exhausted, I'm just gonna do a whole video when I get home because I bought something that needs to be put together. Nothing nothing major. Um, and it just makes more sense to like, you know, have it put together and show it to you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you see that video. And you know, hang out with me on Fridays, but hang out with me on Sunday and Wednesday as well because oof, she's hot. Hang out with me on Sunday and Wednesdays as well because on Sundays and Wednesday and Wednesdays I film my skincare videos and on Fridays we do fashion. IKEA is not really fashion, but it is, but it's not. So you know, hang out. All right, I haven't decided if I'm ending the vlog here or not. Um, I guess you'll figure out by how many minutes are left in the video. I am exhausted, like I said before. Ikea took so much energy out of me. I'm drained. I will show you what I got in a future video. Um, hopefully, I, I'm not even gonna say when. Let's just say a future video for, for now, a future Fashion on Friday video, hopefully. Um, I just went to go pick up my mail. I'm excited about something because there's a brand. I can't say which brand and I can't say what because you know, there's a, uh, what do you call it? embargo until the end of the month but a brand is coming out with something pretty cool that i can't wait to try out so i'm hoping that's what's in one of these boxes i went to pick up my mail but stay tuned because i have some ideas for some skincare videos on testing some products some cleansers some moisturizers you know a whole bunch of stuff you know because we don't just do fashion here we do skincare on Sundays and Wednesdays so make sure you check out those videos subscribe to the channel and all of that and I mean whether or not there's more vlog after this I don't know you're gonna know because you'll see it but I won't know at this point but make sure you subscribe to this channel follow me on social the links will be in the description box and I'll see you in my next one bye guys